at the beginning of the vert. From here it goes straight up, so I've heard. Alright, hey what's up guys, we are out here in the beautiful Montana wilderness. Uh, today Jordan and I are going to be shooting some highlining. So we've hiked up into the Gallatin Canyon and we just set up a short about 40 foot long line out here, a couple hundred feet in the air or a little bit less. And uh, Jordan's going to be our photographer for the day. I'm actually a highliner myself so I'm going to be getting out on the line for some of these shots. We're out here with our good friends Jake and Manu who helped us rig it all and it should be pretty sick. Uh, we're going to be detailing how we do each of these shots and kind of the thought process behind highlining as well as our photography. So we have all our anchor material here. I'm going to rig one side, Nathan's going to rig the other, and then we're going to send the webbing across with this here tagline. Um, and then we'll show you how we tension it, and it's pretty slick. That's sweet. I like, I like gut it. What, what do you got, Nathan? All right, so I picked out anchor material. That's what's going to be attaching us to the rocks. I have three quick links that are going to go to these bolts in order to protect the line. I have one web lock for my backup line. I have a web lock for my main line a delta link and a couple of locking carabiners for attaching the soft materials together. Two soft shackles, these are ultra bomber and these are gonna connect to my web lock to hold that in place. And I have a mini sling to extend my backup web lock so they aren't hitting each other. Hopefully that's everything. Uh, we have more but I should be able to get it right the first try. So we'll see. <laughs> Get like the weight, the feel. Oh, okay, yeah. then, what you got going on here? All right, so we have three non-tensioned at the moment, but equalized anchor lines running through a redirect, a BFK. So all of these are backed up and redundant. I then have them through a delta link, two soft shackles, and then the web lock for our main line here. And then our backup line is running through a separate web lock on an extender, which is then backed up by a frost knot. Everything's backed up, redundant, and every single component of this is strong enough. Should be good. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> right, why do you think uh, photography is so important in capturing these like unique sports and moments? Um, photography has a really unique way of showing, um, like you can show just a specific moment in a sport. Um, like, like a video usually takes like 10 minutes to really show everything that's going on in this kind of thing. But with a photo, a well done photo, you can like show off the whole activity in one frame. So, so somebody that doesn't have much time or like doesn't really know the sport yet, so doesn't know what they're looking for, they can just like, they're scrolling and then they see this image and they're like, whoa, what's going on with that? And, uh, and hopefully if you're able to capture it well or get a series of photos, then you're able to show off everything that's going on with one to three photos. Oh. It's kind of a weird shot. Alright, what are you thinking about down here as you're shooting up there? Um, down here I really like how it gets the highliner up in the sky, um, but I also get like the rocky um, outline. So I'm really going for a silhouette. I don't know if you can see that. Oop. Going for kind of a silhouette -ness. Uh You can see the, still see the rock, so it gets that like gnarly uh, feeling, but uh, the highliner is also really visible. Alright Nathan, so uh, how long have you been highlining? I've been highlining a little over a year now and uh, it's been one of the most difficult things that I've ever attempted, that's for sure. Why did you get started? Uh, 
I saw a Netflix video when I was a kid about like some of the first highliners and I was just blown away by their ability to internalize such like an extreme struggle. Um, it's such an extreme sport, but it's so quiet at the same time. It's, uh, it's kind of like mountain biking or skiing in that it's an adrenaline sport, it really is, but instead of this fast paced action, it's all about internalizing and um, kind of this like meditative state that you put yourself in to overcome your like bodily fears and stuff. Okay, small update. Um, I've been shooting some photos. One of my favorites is I climbed a big rock up there and got a cool top-down view of this line. Um, it was pretty sweet. Not my favorite angle. I still am looking for the shot. Um, they're just about to get back on the high line, so I'm gonna keep going, but that was a small update. All right, just wrapped up with uh, some highlining and the last of our shots. Jordan, how are you feeling about your shots today? Uh, feeling pretty good, got some creative angles. Uh, it's really cool to shoot highlining in the woods out here. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see how they turn out with, in the editing, but I think I got some good ones. All right. How do you feel about the sesh? It was good, it was really good. We had like uh, some cool lighting come through, lots of cool clouds, pretty dark out here, so I'll be interested yeah. to see whether we can see some grain in those photos, but <laughs> um, all in all, good sesh, good line, good people. Oh, they yeah. are starting some of the takedown right now. We it's gotta all. go help them. <laughs>